What's up, everybody? This is Black Naganachi here with your Adventure Quest video. Um, first off, uh, I know I'm 22 days late, plus more months as far as um, Adventure Quest videos, but um, I still want to say um, Happy New Year's to everyone. Um, it's been a good amount of time since I've been making videos. Um, a lot of new things has released, and um, I'm quite happy about it, to be honest. All right, so... I'm just going to, you know, brief about a lot of things here. I'm not going to go into full-on detail. Um, of course, I just want to let you guys know that I'm still here. You know, I'm just not active as much. Um, you know, since I've been, you know, working my new job and um, I've been kind of stuck on the game when I'm not, you know, working. So um, the most important thing I want to mention first is the new face update that they released like very 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 recently so um they didn't they done made a face shop so basically you can buy your faces like how you buy your weapons shields armors you know all things alike um as you can see here um you know there's a um, whole list of you know different types of faces for your character now uh they released very few new ones and they had some old ones come back and the glitched the glitched um warp force faces that had came out um some time ago through a glitch and they made it official they made it you know and they put it in the game you know officially you know uh which is really cool if you ask me but you know now that it's official in the game the uh, rarity of it is not that great anymore because now everyone can obtain a face um one thing that kind of discouraged me to be honest is um if you look in the z token shop for the faces the face that my character used to have used to have is in the shop and i would i would have thought that um maybe they would have just given me the face because i had it for the longest time but um, I'm not really that mad or anything because I have the hollow face, which is, you know, pretty fucking lit. Um, but I did take the opportunity to go ahead and um, get one of my very, very, very nostalgic faces back, which is this face. Now, for anyone who has watched my very, very old videos, knows that this face was one of my trademarks. And it was one of my most used faces. And I'm glad I can switch between this and my rare faces or whatever. Well, my rare face. Because, you know, my lore master face is no longer rare. And it costs eight tokens. And I don't have it anymore. You know, unless I pay the 500 Z tokens to get it back. Which I will at some point. But right now, I don't, you know, feel like grinding at the moment. I haven't had time. I had time, but I haven't had time, time. So, yeah. Um, I went on ahead and also bought the hooded um, Warp Force uh, face. Um, I also noticed I also noticed a slight color update. Um, but uh, some of the colors is new. Some of them is just kind of a, you know, reshade. Um, one thing I do like is the pitch black. Like, you can make your character's hair, like, pitch black to the point where you can't even see the hair follicles, you know. But what kind of, you know, discourages me a little bit is uh, when you change your character's hair in in the mirror, you notice that there's a, um, there's a uh, miscoloring here and right over here. Uh, I don't think my mouse is showing, so, um, so it's kind of, you know, hard, but if I... I think I have the starburst on for when I click, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it's not really that, you know, hard to miss if you really look closely. But yeah, they came up with a slight color update. It's not super big, you know, like I'm thinking it's like one of those custom color wheels or something like that where you can just adjust the color, you know. But either way, I'm not really mad because there is some pretty okay colors here. So, um, I'm not really going to be using a lot of them anyway. I'm going to be probably using, I'm probably going to be using this 
this, uh, this, of course, this, um, not sure about this, but this probably, it's probably, um, I think a shade of teal. I think, yeah, it's, it's a shade of teal, so I'll probably fuck around and use that. I'm most definitely going to use this because pitch black is kind of cool. Um, and that's probably it. Um, I like these different shades, actually, because I, I think they only had the, the straight up gray and the white. But now they got like some silverish type color. Where, like you probably won't think it's silver. You probably, oh, that's gray. But it's kind of, you know, it's kind of silver, you know. So, um that's cool you know uh it's pretty nice uh as far as the eye color there is some new eye colors um the eye color is probably the best variety there is i'm not saying the hair isn't because you have many different shades <sighs> i'm kind of i'm kind of here um which is pretty fucking badass if you ask me um i personally think they should have did the same thing for the guardian Guardian plate colors, you know, but if you ask me, I think they should release more colors, like way more colors, or just make a color wheel, wheel you know, that'll be great, that'll be most definitely great, so um, one thing I also don't like is the fact that they moved the limited time shot into the, uh, into like the Valencia um, conversation, like why do I have to go all the way to Valencia just to access you know the shop you know like that's too much so yeah um the nylac items of course has been, had been released you know they're really unique really really unique i like the way they look you know art is nice you know on the paragon ice blade um it's in my opinion um a clone of you know the nightmares because i love nightmares but i put it in storage for right now you know, because for some odd reason, when I equip it, you know, it kind of slows the game down a little bit, you know, because it's such a large weapon. You know, I'm guessing it's pixels or some shit like that or whatever the fuck. But, yeah. There's a lot of weapon clones of each other in the game, which is really annoying a little bit. But I'm guessing it's the art and the effects that it has that, you know, separates the difference. The Mega Psycho Saber, um, I, I see it maintain its um, classic art because usually when they release you know, shit like this, for higher levels, they will make it, they will make the art, you know, updated, but I'm not complaining about the art, the art is nice, I like the art, um, I don't really like using this weapon, you know, because I don't really like the guest, I don't like using guests like that, you know, unless it's dynamics, back then I didn't like using them, but nowadays you gotta use them if you really wanna end battles quick, um, the Cryo Chrono Shield is probably one of the best shields in the game, of course, cause you know, the chance of paralyzing, is really why I'm saying that is that fact. Um, I think these are the these are updated guests that were already released, you know, before. So that's nothing really special about that. Nylak, um, he's pretty fucking badass, and he looks cool. So he's most definitely going to be in my um, active pet slot, even though I don't use pets like that. Um, Essence or. Um, Literally one of the best items in the fucking game. Obtain this shit immediately because the use the uses of this is pretty amazing. You can use this in combination with so many different types of items, and you can um you can convert this into more health. And when I say convert this into more health, I don't mean click on it because when you click on it, you lose health and you gain SP. But what I'm saying, you convert this into health. Like you can go ahead and uh. You can go ahead and click on it, and you'll, you know, gain SP. You can use the SP to heal your health back or some shit like that. Or you can use it to, you know, um, go ahead and use items like Shield Generator, which I've had in my active inventory um, recently because of, you know, that this particular reason, you know. Um, Fossil 2017, uh, Island of Misfit Ornaments. Not that many special items came out for this. Um... Though I've obtained everything that I actually wanted from it, you know, I kind of do want to get this, but at the same time, like I said, I'm not about to spend money on this shit, so, uh, yeah, um, if I decide and change my mind, maybe, but for now, no, uh, the gift boxes, 
the Guardian gift boxes, as you guys know. Or for those who don't know and just so happy to be joining back on AQ again, um, um, the gift boxes were free. So if you guys are broke or some shit like that and you are coming back to AQ to play, um, unfortunately you missed it. So um, this, a little, this is a little bit of the set. This is the set itself. Um, this is the fire. This is a fire set with a, I think, was it a light secondary? Yep, a fire light secondary. Um, it's pretty good. Um, it's not the best in the game, but not everything that comes out needs to be the best in the game. It has its, you know, uses. And I like, I personally, I personally like the, I, I personally like the set. Um, now, for anyone who knows me closely, they know that I hate the color red. They know that I hate the color red. But, you know, because a lot of items in this game are designed the way they are designed, I have to deal with the color scheme or whatever. But if there was color custom versions and shit, like how Adventure Quest Worlds do with a lot of their shit, I would make this shit blue. Blue and probably white or some shit like that, or blue and purple, you know? But um, it's no big deal, you know? Um, it's no big deal. So they came with the ice variant of the Twilly form, which is the chili form. Uh, I wish I obtained the, um, the Twilly form, you know, just to have. Because I know it's defensive, and I don't really do defensive like that bit. Because, you know, chili is blue. Like how I just was talking about the whole color thing. You know, chili, you know, is, is, is just awesome as fuck. And, um, again, it's just the ice clone of the um, Twilly form. But at least I got one of the forms, so I'm, I'm most definitely satisfied with that. Um, if you pair this with Moglin Sword, and I think I think this Moglin Sword and some type of healing miscellaneous item, um, it'll be great, you know, for healing purposes. But that, it won't be, it won't be, uh, common because you're trying to get your monster's health down. You feel me? So you're not going to be worrying about trying to heal all the damn time. Unless you're, you know, doing some weird strategy, I guess. So this Moon Chaser Rider, this reminds me of, um, what was it, the Rough and Rim? Um, from the, um, the Legendary 3. The reason why it reminds me of, of that because, okay, wait a minute, where is, where is that area? Oh yeah, Farron Spring. Hopefully I can encounter it. If not, oh well, but I'm pretty sure I, I am. But, um, basically like the armor, the ar the way the armor itself by itself looks, it looks kind of like the Carnex armor. And a Carnex pet, you know, and um, it gives me a nostalgic feeling, which is pretty dope. So when I um, when I whip this armor out, you know, and um, my character page, this is how this is how my this is how my character page will look, you know, when I lack, you know, on the side, you know, the match, because I, I like the match. You feel me? Um, my character's hair and eyes does not match this this whole setup here, um, but that's going to change, you know, in a few, maybe, but it's not really mandatory, but I just like the match anyway, so, uh, but I just want to show you guys, like, you know, what I mean, you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about, but, you know, just because, but, yeah, there we go, so, yeah, uh, it really has been forever since I've been active on here. Uh, I've been, you know, I, I haven't been watching much of the videos that people have been releasing about Adventure Quest because, like I said, I've been, I've been stuck on, you know, my PS4 a lot. Um, I've been playing a lot of GTA, a lot of GTA. And um, that's really, like, all I've been doing, you know. And then I've been going, I was going through some shit, like, about, like, like last month or so. So, um, um, it kind of had me, you know, in evaluation mode, you know, as far as myself, you know, it had me thinking, you know, but I'm, I'm good now, you know what I'm saying? I'm back, you know, back to myself, you feel me? 
I wasn't feeling too bad, you know, but I just had to get my thoughts straight. Just to get everything in order. So, yeah. But, yeah, so. Oh, damn. Now that I think about it, okay, it kind of looks like the shit. Yeah, it kind of does. Now that I really think about it, it really doesn't fully, but it gives that, it has that nostalgic look, you know. And I like nostalgic looks because, you know, adventure courses change. I've, I've been playing this shit for 10 years now, you know. And it's like so much has changed. Like, I really miss the old AQ. But um, I noticed the AQ team is slowly but surely, like, releasing, like, nostalgic type items, you know. So it, it kind of brings the classic feeling back a little bit. Um but like I think which I think what drew me away from the game mainly is the fact that like this is gonna sound dumb, but I honestly really don't care because I'm really dead serious when I say this, is the fact that they have not released a sound toggle. Um now you're probably wondering why would you need a sound toggle? The updated sounds sounds great. Me personally I hate the updated sounds. I hate it. it sounds stupid. You know. Not saying that the um old sounds sound perfect, but I like the old sounds better. And I actually did play with the sound effects on, and I enjoyed the way the shit sounded. But um, when they changed it, and it's just like there was no sound toggle, playing this game with no sound really kind of dulls the game down so much, personally. And that, that's kind of a really, you're probably thinking that's a really dumb way to judge the game based off sounds. Me personally, I'm a sound type of guy. I like sounds. I like sounds. So, like, one of my, you know, favorite aspects of the game to just be changed and altered and, you know, they're like, oh, we're not, we're not, we're not um, going to pay that, we're not paying any mind, you know, um, if a whole bunch of people decide they want to change, they want a sound toggle, then we'll do a sound toggle, but I've noticed that very few people complain about certain shit and they'll change it in an instant, like they will really sit there and change shit. In an instant, you know, and I think that's fucked up personally, because um, it's the fact that you guys will not you guys AQ AE will respond to very few people complaining about some item that's overpowered or whatever the case may be or underpowered or it doesn't have a magic toggle. Right, but when warriors ask, "Oh, can I get a melee toggle?" We don't get our wishes fulfilled. That's the first thing. Me personally, and I know it's not, I'm not the only one, because I know that I, that I know there's a few, a few people that prefer the old sounds too. And I'll be honest, um, as far as I remember, Pure Evil was one of the people who agreed with me when I made the video about the sound toggle. You know. And I'm just, and it's like, well, we're not, we're not focused on that right now. We have better things to worry about, dude. Just pull up the files, some shit like that, or however you guys do it, you know, and just add it as an option. Like, just simply put modern sounds, classic sounds, toggle, like a light switch. It's simply like a light switch. You guys can throw a magic toggle on a fucking purely warrior type weapon that was really only meant for warriors but you guys would not even dare alter an option you know it's not really an alternate option you're just bringing something back because technically you altered something by bringing by bringing a new set like new sounds out you know so what's so hard about bringing the old sounds back and then and then like i'm saying take the new sounds out put the old sounds back Never said that. They said, can you make it toggleable so when I get on this game, I can click the sound toggle and have my classic sounds back while I'm listening to music or making a video or whatever the case may be. You know, yeah, I may not make videos often or I may not get on adventure quests often, but I still play this game. You know what I'm saying? I'm still here, obviously. If I would, if I went quit playing this game, I would have been done it, you know. But, I, you know, obviously I still play because, like, this is one thing from my childhood that I still have. One of the very few things from my childhood that I still have, you know. 
I was 11 years old when I first started playing this shit. You know, I'm about to be 22 in about less than, a little less than two months. You feel me? Like, and the fact that I've most definitely put my money to this game. Like, I haven't put my all into the game as far as money, but I most definitely put a good amount of coins into this game that I could have put into other things. So the least that AQ can do is, you know, serve your customer. You know, like, come on. Especially after the times that I was setting myself, oh, I'm going to start buying Z-Tokens. And I would fucking want to buy a fucking 100,000 100, Z-Token pack or some shit like that. You know, like, what the hell, you know? Serve your customers, you know? And even if, and even if I didn't pay for this damn game in any shape or form, my words, like, my voice should still be heard anyway, you know. And I think that's another problem that AE has. Like, they like they over they selectively overlook certain shit, but in reality, there's a lot of shit in this game that still needs to be fixed to this day. Still needs to be fixed. You know, only thing that I can give them props for is the fact that. You know, when a weird glitch comes out, you know, some type of exploit comes out, they do fix it, you know, quick. That's great, you know. Like, even though, yeah, like, it look, like the glitches or exploits or bugs or whatever, it looks cool, you know, to, like, you know, see other people do. But, like, I'm not, I don't really exploit bugs like that. I don't, I really don't because it's, like, no use of doing it. I'm not trying to get in trouble for doing this shit, you know what I'm saying, like. I ain't got time. I really don't. I, I put too much into this character to just lose it over some bullshit. You feel me? But I don't judge others for doing their thing. I don't. But that's probably one of my biggest concerns with AQ is their ability to fully serve. I understand that their staff is low. That might be one of the things that I'm considering, that their staff is low. Their staff aren't as big as it used to be. But a lot of things that some people ask for is really not that hard. You know, it's really not that hard. Like, you guys can come out with damn goddamn starter packs and shit, you know, motherfucking starter packs and shit, you know. Pretty sure that took some damn time, you know, to add into a goddamn game, you know, putting a whole bunch of shit in a package or whatever for first-time players or whatever or people who want a little slight boost when they first start playing the shit. You know, pretty sure it's nothing to just add a simple sound toggle, you know. And I'm not boycotting AQ because of that, but it is a reason that this game is not the same to me because it's just like, okay, you guys are updating the game. You're making it more modern for people that are in this new generation to play and enjoy. But, you know, some things, you know, you got to fulfill the veterans as well. Like, I've only been playing since 07. I haven't been playing since 03, you know, like that. Nothing like that. But, like, four years after the game released, and it's, and it's 2018 now. So, this game has been out for probably, fit, basically, about fit, about 15, about 15, 16 years. And I've been on this game for about 10 of those 15, 16 years. So, yeah, that is my, that's, that's my thing. That's my concern, you know. But as far as my active status, as far as playing this game, it's like when good shit comes out, I'll log in, snag a few items, log off, you know. As far as my activeness in the AQU2 community, um, I'm still active on YouTube. You know, when when I, you know, I'm able. Um, one of the big reasons why I haven't been making Adventure Quest videos is because, of course, life. You know, life. Um, I still have yet to have a damn updated editor other than Windows Movie Maker. And I really want my videos to be great. You know, like as far as, like, quality and everything. But I can't, I can only do but so much with Windows Movie Maker. And I don't know how to obtain Sony Vegas or any good ass um, video editor, you know, and if I ever somehow by some miracle obtain a good editor, then yeah, I will take the time out. I most definitely know how to use it. And my videos will resume with better quality. 
so I can fulfill the needs of whatever subscribers that's still interested in watching my videos, you know, which really isn't many, you know. I'm only known on AQ or YouTube or whatever the case may be for my past videos or the shit I've been in the past, but really not much of things in the present. You know, I'm just I'm just an old AQ player that's still here. That's it. You know, like it's not like oh he makes an impact. No, it's just an old AQ player that's still here. I'm not mad about that, you know. Um I'm I'm only I'm the one responsible for that, you feel me? I'm in control of that. You know, if I want to make an impact, a great impact, I have to put that work in myself. I can't expect any handouts. And I am most definitely fine with that. I'm most definitely fine with that, you know? But, just wanted to share a little thoughts with you guys. And of course, just let you guys know that I'm still around, you know? I may not be on AQ like crazy or making hella videos or whatever but just know that I'm still around you know so don't hesitate to ask any questions you know and yeah so that being said I'll catch y'all later you know see you next time